himself. I'm running to the right. The player threw the ball to the left. I just press steel and my guy stops what he's doing, turns and sprints and, and turns into Rod Woodson, Deion Sanders, and just goes and gets the ball. Hey guys, it's LJ. Make sure you like the video and subscribe for more great content from my daddy. Good morning out there, 2K Land, man. Check this out, man. So it all started with the patch notes and all that good stuff, man. The people need to, the people been asking for a patch. We needed a patch. And so as such, Mike Wong and the team, they got to give the people in this mug. Get the people what they want, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, they gotta get the people what they want, man. So we're gonna talk about everything in these patch notes and what's going on, how it's gonna be dropped, how it's going down, man. But before we get started, make sure y'all like the video and comment y'all thoughts down below, cause y'all already know we're trying to go with this thing, man. Let them all out us. And if nobody told y'all this today, y'all my brothers, my sisters, my family, love each and every last one of y'all, man. So now we don't know, I don't know if the patch is actually dropped yet. So we're gonna check this out together. Um, They said, that we know that the patch is gonna be dropped in preparation for everything, but I don't know if it actually is out yet. So let's check that out. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, I, don't, I, don't, I don't need that. I hit the wrong button right there, but it's all good though, because um, yeah, I, I'm trying to see, there we go. This right here. The last time it was updated was 926. So the patch has not, oh, the patch is out right now. See, now I, I did it and, and now it's out. So it's about 12 gigs or what have you. And we're just gonna go ahead and drop that. That's on S and X. And uh, when we, let me go to the store. I'm looking at this out of a different screen, man. So, so it's a little bit tougher on me to get to where I wanna get to and all that good stuff in the queue. And uh, it says it's gonna take about, I don't, I don't know how long, boom. Okay, so 12 gigs. Uh, I got I got gigabit, so that's 12 gigs. My joint gonna eat that alive, man. But anyway, uh, just letting y'all know how big it is. 12 pause, 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 wavy. The pause king. Uh, 12 gigs right there, and this so it's gonna take me about three minutes to download it. I do not know if this thing has been activated yet, because sometimes what they'll do is they will drop the patch and then lock it in on Friday, or they will drop the patch and then it'll go active today, but the actual stuff you know, for the uh, the gameplay changes can go in go in today with the uh, update required. So if we get an update required today, that don't mean that the gameplay changes have gone through, but if not, then they haven't, man. But this is what we got in the patch, man. So before we get started again, make sure y'all like the video and comment y'all thoughts down below, because again, what we trying to go with this thing, say it with me. Fill them all down this. Hey, if nobody told y'all this today, y'all my brothers, my sisters, my family, I love each and every last one of y'all. So here we go, patch notes, hey, patch notes. NBA 2K patch notes 2.0 up in this motherfucker. Hey man, that was, my, that was my guy, man. Anyway, they say, hey, this update will be released this week, starting with PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X, and then followed by the Steam uh, release before the start of the season. I'm surprised Steam ain't just ain't just uh hack the patch like they always hack everything else, man. They got, they got first legends and all this stuff over there already. But anyway, preparation for the NBA 2K25 uh, Season 2 launching on Friday, October 18th at 8 a.m. Pacific time, so 11 p.m. Eastern time, and then 4, 4 p.m. Uh, yeah, well, I don't even know what BST is, bro. What is that? Bay, uh, Bay, Bay Standard Time? I don't, I don't know what that is. It is what it is. Hey, hey, uh, let me see. Stay tuned for what's available uh, in what we have in store. As they say, many additions and improvements to the audio and commentary have been made across the game, all the game modes. And we got all the Los Angeles stuff, like we talking about the baskets, uh, basket stuff. This is stuff that really don't have anything. The back shoulder strike for Chicago will be there. The the uh, NBA Finals MVP trophy has been updated to reflect the recent this redesign, fix the hang that occurred, that could occur when editing a shoe. And like, this stuff that we really don't care about, man. Like, do we care about this? I don't know if we care about this. Players are now, now correctly labeled as hot in the situation, in the substitutions menu during the gameplay changes to the rotation timeline will be will now be properly will now properly save when adjusting. So I guess that is important, man. Then we got, uh, let's see what we got next. Uh, there we go. Boom. Let's see. Uh, by by community request in the creator roster in the create roster after deleting trading or reassigning a player, the next available player on the list will be will now be highlighted. Change to the uh, signature jump shot. Change, change the signature jump shot when creating a player will now correctly preview in the menu. Fixed it. Fixed an issue that caused the player to not be visible when when creating a player. 
and attempting to update tattoos like bro what is this going on man following follow following uh current day uniforms we, we don't care about this stuff man this is what we care about game this is what we care about for it gameplay this is what we care about man made various adjustments to reduce the effectiveness of past steals including toning down unrealistic catches when close to the passer and blind catches facing the wrong way. This is something that really needed to be taken care of, man, because in this game, it's like somebody's not even looking at you and he's gonna spin around, spin around him, and steal the ball when when he's, he's going right. Your guy's going left. He presses the steal, but if, if the person was running at the ball, tracking it, and then hitting the steal button at the right time to get the steal. Nobody would have a problem with it, but that's not what's going on. I've had times when I, myself, am running to the right. The player threw the ball to the left. I just press steal, and my guy stops what he's doing, turns, and sprints, and, and turns into Rod Woodson, Deion Sanders, and just goes and gets the ball. Odell Beckham Jr., whatever. I have no business getting those steals. Conversely, the ones where I sit there in time, they don't give them to me. But they give me all the ones, like where I'm, I'm, I'm at the free throw line, the dude is cutting uh, back door, I press it, and my, and my dude just Michael Jackson moonwalks back there and gets the steal. Like, I don't deserve those, but the ones where I actually run and get in and try to time it, don't get them. It's incredible that, that 2K only gives you the ones that they want to give you. Now, they did not say anything about the effectiveness of on ball steals, so that's cool. Uh, like, I, I think they're just going to tone down the lanes and see how we go from there. But they, but sometimes they do change things like the on ball steals. They might in, in, in improve the effectiveness of that and not tell us. So just keep that in mind. They say improve shot contest logic for more reliable coverage scores uh, for both perimeter and interior defense hands down situations will now will no longer <laughs> register as tight uh open shots receive a slight buff to maintain balance so people are gonna be making more shots open shots get a slight buff you shouldn't be missing blast ass open anymore so wavy hey clap it up for wavy right there we're gonna check this out today man so you shouldn't be missing wide open but the thing is when you see open shot how is that going to act because every shot on this game is open every shot on this game is open and now we can't even do the gambit tease no more which is where you just run into somebody and head but them and you get the tight contest or reach element and you get tight contest now if you don't have your hands up it's hand down man down or as joe says it's open so i don't know how this is going to change the game man because it's already hard as all get out to play defense on this game if you don't think it's hard to play defense on this game bro Maybe you haven't played anybody because I'm telling you, you got dudes that have the size up where you can't bump them while they're doing the size up. You can't bump them when they come out of the size up and then they left stick and there's nothing you can do about that. And then they're going to, then if they get a little space, they're going to be able to take the shot. And if it says open and you don't got your hand up, man, I don't know. I don't know how this is going to go, but if it's going to improve gameplay, I am all for it. But uh, they improve responsiveness when dribbling or shooting with the uh with the pro stick and also reduce delays with catch and shoot now that is something damn mm, i'm ready for this Shit. let me tell y'all why i'm ready for this because the only thing that's been saving a lot of people is when i catch that ball with the pro stick i have to wait 15 seconds before i can shoot it and it's like dang so now my point guard sometimes has to pass me the ball and it's got to be in a super 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 wide open uh, uh spot but now that i can do that it's say improve the responsiveness when dribbling or shooting with the pro stick uh, and reduce the delays with catch and shoot. That is awesome right there. So that's going to be dope. So now we got really no excuse to not be shooting with the pro stick, man. Y'all better get on, get right, or get left. Hey, fix an exploit that made low post phase overly effective. So they fixed the, uh, they fixed the uh, pro stick uh, shooting in the post. There you go right there. So I don't know what, what a lot of people are going to do, what a lot of them people that's number one going to do in the ones or whatever. But hey, you're not going to be able to do that anymore. So hey, repair some dribble, some dribble move branches, including the 720 spin glitch, which a lot of people were doing that and then spin and go to the rim, but they didn't even know how they do it. But hey, uh, 720 spin glitch and unwanted double hesitation uh, moves from the triple threat. Okay, uh, let me see. Standing floaters will now properly use the close shot rating while driving floaters will use the uh, use a weighted average of either uh, either of the higher between driving layup and close shot. That's cool right there. Restricted post, my, both of mine are 60, so it don't even matter. Restricted post spin shots to, uh, to live dribble situations to prevent double dribble 
violations and fixed an unre uh, uh, unrelated issue that allowed double dribbles to occur in the post without a violation being cut. Bro, this is every year, bro. Every single year that happens, bro. That somebody finds a double dribble glitch, but I, they, they hadn't really publicized it that much this year because you didn't have to because you just fade on somebody once they do it, so it don't even matter. Let me see. A slight nerf was made to deep post uh, drop step effectiveness. Okay, so that's cool. And then, uh, which I don't even know if they really needed to do that, but uh, I think they just needed to weigh it more based on who is like your, your ratings and stuff like that. And then falling face down shot landings will now only trigger with uh with the hit from behind bro i ain't gonna lie because you might be fine you might be playing somebody and they jump at you bro you just fall right on your face a tune catch collisions uh to improve animation coverage and have the ha have them play in a more appropriate situations tuned catch collisions i don't even know what they're talking about when you catch the ball I, I i don't know what they're talking about catch collision maybe when you catch the ball and somebody bumps you, you don't just lose it out of bounds and stuff like that. I, I guess that's what it is. I have no clue, but hey, maybe they'll explain that more. Let's say improve the ball, the ball uh, attachment logic, particularly when starting a dunk or layup mid dribble. So I don't know if that's the little steal thing that they were talking about. Did you know we get the little baseline cheese steal? But hey, it is what it is. We, we'll see what that is. Add support to this to scale takeover meter prog progress the, uh, dif differently for short quarters and modes without a game clock such as triple threat uh in team and my team okay that's cool right there so uh let me see fixed an issue where the the 2k camera would flip uh 2k camera flip would get confused on the direction of the play when a turnover happened immediately after a rebound they need to take away the steal steal why can people reach and this has been in 2K for years. It's always in there on the first pass. Why can people, you get the board, they reach, and, and, and a, a high enough percentage of time, as soon as there's a turnover, you just reach and you get the turnover again. It's so much they had to ban it in leagues. Um, I don't know why that's, why that's so prevalent, but it, they, it's, it happens so often that they had to do something about it, I guess. Manually selected uh, defensive matchups will no longer uh, reset after timeouts are called. Okay, that's cool. Let me see, adjusted one of... um. I just did one of Jordan Clarkson step back uh, jumpers to prevent unrealistic initial dribble speed. Okay, so the step back uh, jumper, I don't know if that's the one that everybody uses where they step back and then they go ball hand, but it could be. Updated Devin Booker post shimmy fade package. They need to update that left stick that, that, that Devin Booker got, but it's cool. You just don't press them. You just got to stand back and see what they're going to do. Left stick is, uh, is like incredible in this game too. You can't get a bump on somebody. You can't do nothing if they decide to just left stick all the way to the rim. So, hey, it just is what it is. Hey, change mark Williams signature jump shot to be a to be valid for big men only okay so if you're using mark williams you're not gonna be able to use that anymore but uh pj washington can be used by everybody still so it's all good hey your player will now break out of go to shot if moved too far from the shot marker uh in certain drills okay that's cool let me see fixed an issue that made self alley oops very difficult to complete in the dunk contest cool fix a scoring bug in the in the uh, dunk contest that would incorrectly award points on miss dunks bro people been out there joint cheesing man hey man dang bro have people really been cheesing hey fix an issue that can prevent this is something man. this is a part of uh the other part man i don't know what this one is this is let's see what this is this is uh my team or whatever i don't even think y'all care about my team okay this is this is my city I don't, we don't care about my team and my nba airs my gm and all that stuff we don't care about that but we're gonna go with this hey fix an issue that could prevent simulating uh simulating games in the nba season if the nba debut quest uh did not correctly complete okay so let's go cool. fix a scheduling problem that could prevent regular season nba games from being played after nba cup games have uh have been completed fixed an issue that could halt progression uh, on becoming a starter when the player when the player ahead of my team uh, when the player when the player ahead of your my player in the lineup gets injured so the game won't start after that that's i mean you can become a starter the person ahead of you is injured that's insane uh fix an issue with the with the nba debut personal goals nba cup champion uh matchup nightmare uh pro bonus challenge to and gatorade workout guests a quest that could that could cause them to remain uh, active after completion so like like so i guess if you fix finish a lot of this stuff and it's still active and you can't get your little rewards from it or what have you that that's fixed i fixed the display issue indicating that the workout warrior has been i mean has been earned before 
the required 12 drills have been completed. I never had that. I wish I did, but I never got that. They fixed an issue with the franchise player. Trouble in Paradise Quest. This is my, this is, oh my God, Trouble in Paradise Quest that caused an incorrect player to be displayed in the objectives. Yeah, because like, like it's supposed to be the person that you're taking over for or somebody like that. So for me, it should be like Trey Young or somebody like that. But they giving me, um, I'm a point guard. I'm a two guard or whatever. And they giving me, and they giving me Dwayne Detman, not Dwayne Detman, um, uh, Clint Capella. So that's crazy. But hey, it's working. So it's all good. Fixing this shoe. Where, where the face of the franchise quest could inc could be could incorrectly fail when progression to the next season. Uh, okay, could be when incorrectly when progressing to the next season. Okay, that's cool. Let me see changes that changes made to my minutes menu will now properly be applied to the NBA games. Okay, that's cool. Ensure the ensure that the maximum overdrive quest will progress correctly when re when reaching at a 95 overall that's cool and then fix the hang that occurred i mean that could occur when attempting to retry or play the next heart of the dynasty game okay that's cool and then last but not least heart of the dynasty games can now be can now be started uh as expected when in the when in the team practice facility or in brickley's gym so that's cool let's see fix an issue that that could prevent rewards from being properly received after completing off-season activities uh completing the goat completing the goat mode for winning the three-point contest or dunk contest is no longer delayed that's cool uh the the correct overall rating will now be displayed for my player when going into 3v3 test build games uh fix an issue that could give you give, give you control of a player other than my player in the test uh test bill uh test bill games will now be played on the current chosen difficulty level so if i want to go in there and i want to cheese on rookie i can cheese on rookie test bill game i mean i mean uh filling the filling the pre-game shoot around take a takeover meteor is now easier because man you ain't gonna lie you had to hit like 10 in a row on that one though so that's cool uh add support added support to multiple record breaking speeches in the same in the same k as well as imp imp improvements to the other um, to the overall flow when these are activated that's cool fix an issue that could that could cause certain uh jalen jalen murphy show scenes to take place in the wrong location and fix the user reported issue that could uh that could cause some second year play some second year players to be referred to as rookies in the commentary during the season and then the rest of it is just like this is my team man my team challenges and stuff exchanges and all that good stuff i know y'all be caring about this auction house player listing uh with the shoe card applied will now display the uh the applied takeover name so that's cool right there and then challenges and stuff like that that's cool in game uh this is you know breakout triple threat park and all that stuff i really don't I, don't I don't rock with that other stuff man so to me it's not important but it could be to y'all so i'm gonna leave a link to the patch notes down in the comment section man but this is everything that we really care about the gameplay and my and my player stuff that's what my channel is about so if y'all uh, like that, man, hit the like button, man. Let me get those 300 likes because, you know, hey, y'all, y'all my people, man. You know what I'm saying? Hook your boy up, man. And I will holler at y'all. Take care of yourselves. Uh, have a good day. And I'll holler at y'all next time. Till next time. It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop. Be gay to people's channel. Gosh,